Please have a seat. Can I ask everyone to, uh, to sit down? Shh. Please, uh, please uh, take a seat. I guess there are seats in the back. And actually, if, there, if we run out of seats down here, there are some seats upstairs. Well, uh, good evening. Oh, come on, folks. Good evening. Good evening. We may have taken us. A body blow by Sandy, but we still got spirit, right? Um, well, first of all, I want, to, um, uh, I want to really start with a huge thank you to uh, the Center for Architecture, the AI Center for Architecture, its leader, Rick Bell, and the whole staff here. We, um, uh, as I'm sure every single one of us, uh, have a, a Sandy story. And um, uh, the Metropolitan Waterfront Alliance, uh, by the way, I, I think I know most of you, I'm Roland Lewis. I'm the President and CEO of the Metropolitan Waterfront Alliance. Uh, we uh, we're, are downtown in the Seaport area, and very fortunately, we were able to occupy our building. The original uh, location of this General Assembly was going to be the South Street Seaport Museum, which uh, unfortunately is still um, unoccupiable, and, and they're trying to get themselves back on their feet. We hope very soon, but uh, we, we uh, this is a, we, we were, we're out, at, out at sea, and this is a, uh, Rick offered us uh, this, this building, this space. And we couldn't be more grateful to uh, allow us to go forward with this uh, uh, event. I do want to also thank um, uh, my staff. You'll see them walking around with clipboards. And uh, uh, also, I, 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 I'll apologize. Uh, not apologize. He tried his best. Uh, one of the trustees of the MWA, Chris Ward, uh, would try to rearrange his plane schedule. He was flying to Europe, but he could not. He was going to give a couple of remarks and say hello. But we, a few of our board members, I, know, I saw Kent Bartwork, Jennifer Costley, Peggy Shepard, Paige Sutherland, and Steve Wilson's walking around with a camera. So I uh, thank my board for the support and work they do for the MWA. Um, and, and really, I want to thank all of you for uh, taking the time to come out. It's been overwhelming, the response. Um, and it's been hard to get the word out because of our computer problems, but we have a, a lot of folks that were, uh, that were just very interested in this discussion, and we can be more grateful for you for coming out and being part of this. Um, you know, uh, I was just talking to uh, media about who the MWA is, and we are still uh, 677 different organizations, businesses, and uh, folks that care so deeply about the waterfront, work so hard. Uh, to uh, uh, re help lead and re-engage uh, with our harbor and waterways to make them a healthier, more accessible place. We wanted people to pay attention to the water that surrounds us, to pay attention to the fact that we are a city of water. And uh, Sandy did a good job. <laughs> people are really paying attention to the fact that we're a city of water now. Uh, but I think they're also a little fearful that, uh, about what that water can and will do for, for good and obvious reasons. Uh, we're, I think one of the jobs that we have before us tonight as the waterfront community is to uh, recognize that fear, but uh, recognize that it's an opportunity too, to, that we have to learn how to uh, not uh, fight that water, but live with that water, because we're not moving the uh, financial and media capital of the world anywhere, and this New York region is, I think, here to stay for the foreseeable future. Uh, but it needs to learn how to engage with the water that surrounds us in a productive but also a safe and good way. And that's what we're all about. This um, General Assembly, uh, what, the idea we, we scheduled for this date uh, before uh, Sandy, and we held the date after Sandy. Uh, the, the idea was for us to come up with a uh, policy platform uh, that would be uh, pro progressive, and build on the successes that we've all enjoyed and, and worked toward over the last uh, few years with the, the administration and also with New Jersey to try and re-engage and open up our waterfront. Obviously, two, two and a half weeks ago, the, uh, the tableau, the, the, the agenda changed for all of us. Uh, and we recognize that we, while we still wanted to have this meeting and, and talk about that platform for the coming election cycle, we also wanted to have a platform that dealt with uh, the, the needs and the, the opportunities and challenges that, that the post-Sandy uh, era will, will bring to us. Um, and we wanted to bring you together 
to bring your collective genius, and it is genius, the, the, the folks that you've been on the cutting edge of, of re reinventing a waterfront that's been heralded from Abu Dhabi to Tacoma and every place in, be in between. People understand what the comprehensive waterfront plan for the city of New York is and what's happening to our waterfront in a very dynamic and wonderful way. We want to bring this same uh, intelligence and care and passion to the uh, challenges of, uh, of the post Sandy. So, Eric, let me let me tell you what the um, here's a thing. What these we there are outcomes of this meeting. Um, we want uh, it's and it's very practical. Um, we're going to try at the end of the day uh, to come forward with the beginnings, uh, and I hope you know long a long way toward a platform of uh, for sea level rise, a coastal flooding and sea level rise platform. We're also going to try and come forward with a water policy platform. And those things are, uh, are you remember your Venn diagrams, there's probably a lot of overlap between those two platforms, but not entirely. There are certainly issues, um, you know, uh, mooring of the tall ships, uh, subsidizing ferry service. There's things that, will, that are not necessarily related to uh, an, an, uh, Sandy that we have to uh, think about. So those two things. And then I'll say to you also, uh, the third thing, which won't be exactly a product from these meetings, but an, an ongoing conversation within the MWA. We're, as an independent organization, we were, were uh, five years old as, uh, when we were launched from the Municipal Arts Society. We are now engaged in a strategic planning discussion and looking toward our next set of goals that will be five years hence. So we'd love some ideas, some broad, good ideas for us to consider five years looking backwards. What do we want to try to achieve over those next five years? So those are the three ideas that we're trying to put forth today. Let me walk you just very briefly over the the, the, the arc of the day, what, what we want you all to be doing. We're going to have three wonderful speakers. You'll meet them in, in, in one minute. Uh, we'll give short, very short presentations um, about uh, 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 Sandy and its aftermath and things we should be thinking about. We'll have a little time for um, uh, Q&A when they're done, just uh, probably a few questions from the audience during this what we'll call plenary session. Then the meat of this meeting is going to be six breakouts where we, the, um, the, the six uh, task forces that we've uh, organized to the MWA over the last few years will be meeting the architecture, recreation, mass water transit, uh, Green Harbor, and then the two that I'm not working, working waterfront, and one that I'm missing right now, but it will come to me in a second. Anyway, the, the, you guys will meet one by, in, in each of these areas. They'll, you're, you have, as participants, and many of you have expertise in many different areas, the ability to walk from one to the other <laughs> and give your ideas. Uh, one Each one will have a facilitator, a, you know, a knowledgeable person in that area. Um, and I'll also, in the middle, around 30 minutes, sort of bang a gong on this thing and saying it's, we're half over. If you do want to at least visit a second one, and I encourage you at least to do two, please walk around a little bit and find that second meeting. Then they'll be reporting back, and then we'll have a number of, of next steps that we hope to be taking as the MWA to uh, further this uh, dialogue along. So that's what we plan to do. Um, uh, just a little, one bit of, uh, not housekeeping, but very important work. Uh, as you walked in, uh, you saw uh, some signs for the Harbor Coalition. Uh, I don't know, Lilo, Lilo's right there, and there's, uh, you see those beautiful red t-shirts. You'll be learning more about the Harbor Coalition as we talk. It's a, it's a campaign that we're involved with, uh, with a number of other civic organizations, many that are right here in this room. Um, to get more federal dollars for the region. And there couldn't be more uh, appropriate and, and uh, greater effort that, than that over the next uh, uh, year, months and years that we're involved in. So if you haven't signed up and want to learn more about the Harbor Coalition and, and, and the Harbor Act that we have been working with our legislative leaders to, to pass, Lila will be here to tell you about it. And uh, um, please do sign up and learn more about that. So without further ado, um, I'm going to ask um, uh, I'm going to get my order correct. Um, uh, Philip Orton from Stevens Institute. Uh, Philip wrote a very compelling piece in the New York Times uh, uh, right after the, the uh, uh, right after the uh, hurricane, or it's a superstorm. Right? I should not call. You know, if we call it a hurricane, the insurers say think it's a superstorm, so they don't they don't <laughs> they don't change the deductible. Um, and uh, I, I think he'll, he can give us some. So uh, he's a researcher at Stevens Institute, and I think he can give us some sort of scientific background and some engineering ideas about what can be done and should be done and what we should be thought about as we start to reckon with uh, Andy and its aftermath. Big hand for, for Philip, please.